Michigan is on a roll. The University of Michigan also made headlines after establishing a Words Matter Task Force, who published a list of words which are or can be construed to be racist, sexist, or non-inclusive. Wow, I guess mean words really are so common on Michigan's campus that it warranted the creation of an entire task force really solving the problems that matter here, people. Your tuition and tax dollars are hard at work. Included in this list are words like man, crazy, dummy, grandfathered in, picnic, and long time no see. The reasons they're offensive? Almost everything is racist in some way or another, or at least possibly offensive to somebody out there. Man seems to be the most offensive word on the list, and anywhere man is used should be replaced with people, according to the university. For example, man hours should become person hours. This task force is really out here doing the Lord's work. Not all heroes wear capes, you guys. Oops, that's probably offensive. Whenever possible, members of the campus community should avoid using any of the two dozen words and phrases on this list to create a campus that is diverse, equitable, and inclusive. When I was in college at Colorado State University, an inclusive language guide just like this one was published, deeming words and phrases like crazy, food coma, and even the word American as offensive and off-limits. Publishing these guides is a trend only gaining steam on campuses nationwide, and I, for one, won't be surprised if this becomes a priority for nearly every campus in America. Oops, I forgot the name of our country is now offensive. I know it sounds crazy, but man, I love living in America, and the people who wrote this guide sound like dummies. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.